Okay. Good morning, everybody. Uh, how are you doing on this dreary day? Um, Father Gallagher here. Just want to pass along to you today a few thoughts. I want to start with the um, saint of our day. Um, interesting person. Her, her saint name is uh, Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. She was born in 1891. Her name was, was Edith Stein. She was born uh, of Jewish parents who were very, very observant uh, Jews in Germany. And uh, in her teenage years, around 16, she kind of lost faith in, in God. She was a brilliant woman. She studied under the great philosophers of, of, of Germany, and she taught at the university. And somehow she, she came under the influence of the writings of Teresa of Avila. And that brought about her conversion. So at the age of 30, uh, she was baptized as Catholic. At the age of 40, she entered the Carmelite order, which was what Teresa was. Uh, she entered the Carmelite order, and that's when she took the name Teresa uh, Benedicta of, of the Cross. Um, she moved to Holland, uh, where she was discovered by the German soldiers. And even though she was a Carmelite nun, they knew that her background was Jewish. So they arrested her and sent her to Auschwitz. She was 50 years of age. And she, they must have just got her off the train and put her right in the gas chamber because she died very quickly um, and she died on August 2nd uh, 1942 and so she's considered by the Jews to be a martyr of the Holocaust and she's considered to be by us Catholics a martyr in our faith as well so we celebrate this uh, great woman Edith Stein brilliant woman um, and I always think to myself you know how many how many uh, potential doctors and inventors and you know died in the Holocaust never were able to you know to exercise the great talents that they had it's such a waste not only of life but of of, 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 of the future that could have been all right, my second thought. Uh, Larry Bird was one of the great, great basketball players of all time. He's in the, he's in the uh, uh, Basketball Hall of Fame. Uh, he played for the Boston Celtics. And uh, he won championships. He was most valuable player a couple of times. And he was from this little town in Indiana called French Lick. Only had... 2,000 people in it. But when he became famous, there were this group of people from Boston. They wanted to go to French Lick to see where Larry Bird grew up. So they went. It was off season. And they're driving around French Lick, Indiana, and they see this sign that says Larry Bird Boulevard. I know they're really excited about that. So they all get out and they take turns taking pictures of themselves underneath Larry Bird Boulevard sign. And while they were taking pictures, this guy runs by with a hoodie on. And they didn't realize that it was Larry Bird. Uh, he was staying in shape in the off season because he, he went back to live in French Lick uh, while he was playing for the Celtics. And they missed him. You know, they were so occupied with the sign that they missed the person. And I think we, we can do that in our faith as well. You know, we can so concentrate on the signs of our faith that we miss the person. And, and the whole purpose of, of the church is to bring people uh, to encounter the person of Christ. That's what, that's what rosaries are all about and, and mass is all about and novenas are all about. And sometimes we can get so caught up in those things that they become things that we do, but they never really get to the heart of it, which is to um, go from the sign uh, to the person of Jesus. Okay, one last story. Um, you know, for us growing up, the real um, 
beginning of summer was the school picnic. Um, we would buy our tickets in, in school, and on that day we would line up on uh, Grandview Avenue with our lunches and waiting for the buses to come to take us out to Kennywood Park. And that was great because we get to Kennywood and for most of the day we were just free. You know, no, no grown-ups, no parents. We could kind of do within reason whatever we wanted. But our parents came out about dinner time and uh, my mom and dad would come. My dad wasn't happy about it because he worked all day, he didn't want to go to Kennywood, but my mother made him come, so he came. And they wouldn't write anything, they just kind of sat there, you know, and they took in the scenes of Kennywood and the sounds, and they uh, talked to other parents from the school. And, uh, but we had a couple more hours to be by ourselves, but my mom would say, now look, uh, you be here at in front of the merry-go-round at eight o'clock because we're going home. And of course, one time we were all there except my brother, Michael, and he wasn't there. And uh, my dad went to one of the security guards and they got on the, the PA system and announced all over Kennywood Park, um, um, Michael Gallagher, would you please come to the merry-go-round? Your parents are waiting for you. And so if you, moments here he comes and he's out of breath and he's scared and he's like I got lost I'm sorry so uh, he got in and we went home but that kind of to me is the, is the image of of the church that's that's our job that's evangelization you know to to look out at this crazy uh, amusement park world filled with all these attractions and rides and chaos, <clears throat> chaos and whatever, and especially to say to people who, who are lost, who get lost, uh, spe especially people who left our church and are lost. And, and the church's job is to say, hey, come on back to church. Come on back to prayer. Come on back to the Eucharist. Uh, Jesus is waiting for you to take you home. I hope you all have a good day, and uh, let me give you a little blessing. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, send upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.